Fuses and circuit breakers are designed to protect property, not people. And while the 12 milliamp shock in our example wouldn't be fatal, it certainly would be painful and could result in serious personal injury from the person's reflex actions. And this is why certain circuits, particularly those used outdoors, require ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI protection. GFCI devices come in various forms, including special circuit breakers, grounding type duplex receptacles, and portable plug-in cord sets. NEC Article 590, Section 6 details the requirements for GFCI protection on job sites. A GFCI works by comparing the current in the hot wire to the current in the neutral wire. Under normal conditions, the current will be the same. However, when a ground fault occurs that exceeds 6 milliamps, the GFCI coil detects the imbalance in current between the hot and neutral and opens the circuit within about 1 25th of a second. Always remember that GFCI protection doesn't decrease the intensity of a shock, it just decreases its duration. So in our example, the worker still did receive a shock, it was just too brief to cause any discomfort or serious injury. Keep in mind that a GFCI will not trip if a person contacts the hot and neutral wires at the same time. 